Perseverance has successfully driven itself across 20 kilometers of Martian terrain since February of 2021, breaking distance records along the way. Now it's facing terrain that may be too much for its navigation system on this episode of Mars Guy. No rover on Mars can be driven using a joystick on Earth because of the long delay in radio signals, which can take between about 4 and 20 minutes one way, depending on where the planets are in their orbits. So they use onboard navigation systems to drive autonomously. Perseverance has the most sophisticated version yet devised and has managed a single sol drive record of more than 300 meters. After exploring the top of the Jezero Crater River deposit, Perseverance is now driving toward terrain rich in carbonate minerals on what may have been the shore of ancient Lake Jezero. A long drive on August 28th shows how it successfully drove out of relatively benign terrain into terrain with boulders and sand drifts. But this is where things get weird. Here's Mars Guy for scale, which is normal. Perseverance arrived in this spot a bit unsettled. The front has cams show its wheels are turned inward rather than the typical straight orientation, including what must have been a short pivot back from its initial arrival position. By the next saw, Perseverance had straightened its wheels. Then two saws later, it drove backward about six meters, ending with its wheels turned even more inward, as if executing a full turn-in-place pivot. I suspect it faulted out after it backed up and started to reorient for a forward drive. The next drive didn't happen until four saws later and was only about 17 meters long, ending in front of these strange rocks. It's possible they were a target of interest spotted from a previous position, but the view to the rear makes me wonder if there was a terrain problem or maybe even Perseverance just stopped to take this great picture. But the view ahead at the end of a 127-meter drive two saws later seems to show Perseverance really struggling with navigation. There are wheel tracks, as in, it's already been here before. The view from the nav cam shows that Perseverance was on track to run into this big sand drift, but decided it was a hazard, then pivoted 90 degrees and drove away. The view from orbit showing the reconstructed path tells the rest of the story. Perseverance drove south for about 10 meters, then, instead of turning back west, it zigzagged eastwardly until nearly reaching its starting point before turning around and nearly retracing its westerly route. It stopped after driving 127 meters in a loop, probably after reaching a time of day limit. At this point, I wondered if this might be some kind of walkabout in search of interesting boulders to investigate, but the next drive two saws later really showed how seemingly confused Perseverance is. It drove right into the same large sand drift that it avoided on the previous drive, then backed away and drove south just like before, but this time stopping before looping back eastward with a final pivot in place to point west. Presumably this sets it up for the next drive into terrain that doesn't look especially challenging. It's not clear to me why Perseverance seems to be having such troubles. Maybe the rover engineers are testing new algorithms or some unique orientation of the sand and boulder hazards has challenged the existing software. Let's just hope that there has not been some kind of damage to its navigation system that has left Perseverance in a permanent state of confusion.